So hello and welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a Primark haul. <coughs> right, clothes haul this time. Um, it might jump about a bit this video because I've been to Primark a couple of times. So I'm filming it different after uh, diff each different visit. So I've done an accessories haul and I've done a clothes haul. So this is the clothes. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is very similar to this. This is already a Primark top, which I loved so much. I went back and got some more. So I've now got this top in dark grey, light grey, black, blush, a beigey tan colour, and now red. Absolutely love this colour. Um, I've not seen this one in there before, so I reckon it must be a popular one. It's It looks quite red on the screen, but it is almost a bricky, orangey red. And uh, they only had this one left. So it's probably a little bit big for me. I normally go for the excess size, which is 6 to 8, whereas this one is a small and it's a 10 to 12. But to be honest with you, I do wear a little vest underneath it to keep me warm. So I don't mind them being a little bit bigger. But um, these are great. They're only £6. Absolutely fantastic with a pair of trousers um, and a scarf around your neck or a pendant or a jacket, cardigan, whatever. So this is what the grey jumper looks like. Bearing in mind I've been to work today so it's a bit creased. I've got the little vest underneath it. But they're great, aren't they? Just lovely with it. A pair of trousers. I've actually worn a scarf around it today. I've had this one on, which is um, sort of a, a black and uh, grey and just picks the two colours up. And I think that's just a really nice outfit for work. Very simple and very cheap. So the next item I've bought is this. I'm absolutely loving this. I really hope it looks okay because I really like it. It's a bodysuit and I haven't worn a bodysuit for at least, I'm thinking nearly 25 years. My goodness gracious. <laughs> I used to wear them all the time back in the, uh, when was it, the 80s? Oh my goodness. I know they've had a big revival this year. Um, I'd, have, I'd have no problem wearing a bodysuit. They are a little bit uncomfortable underneath. Uh, and I always think if you've got big pants on when you're wearing one of these, it's not the best look. But never mind. This is a lovely high neck and it's, it's a, a velvety material with the little spotty bits on it. Now, I did actually go to Primark because I'd seen um, a black top. Not ribbed like this, but it was a similar... So imagine this, black without the ribs, and it got big um, metal balls on it. And I've seen it a couple of times, really liked it. I don't know why I didn't buy it. I do this every time in Primark. You see something, go back to get it, and it's gone. So if you ever see stuff in Primark, get it. Because you can always take it back if you don't want it. Anyway, went back, none of them, not none, not even one. So I saw this instead and I actually like this more. So it's got a beautiful bit at the back, like a sweet, uh, a keyhole with some buttons and then it's high neck at the front. I've gone for an excess, which is a six to eight. Let's try this on and show you. There it is. So you can see what it looks like underneath. Um, I'm not really going to come on here and not have my trousers on, but I just thought I'd let you see uh, what it's like. It is quite skimpy around the bot bot, um, but now I should put it in my trousers properly. So that's it on. Uh, yeah, absolutely love this. It's really, really nice, fits really well. Um, it's got a bit of lycra in it, so it stretches a bit, but they aren't, it isn't um, generously sized. Not too tight, can still have a little um, move around if you want to do some dancing or anything. It's got enough uh, move for that, movement for that, but it's absolutely lovely. Um, the back, I've not done up, because Alan's not here to do it up for me, I'm not getting stuck in that. But as you can see, you do it up there and then it's got the little uh, cut out bit. And then that would just pull it nicely tight around the neck. Absolutely love this. 
Um, this is something that you're going to keep in the wardrobe for, for years to come because, you know, things like this go in and out of fashion. It was only £10. Absolutely best buy from Primark for a long time. And then I also bought this belt. I'm covering this on a different haul, on an accessories haul. But this is a very similar design. It's got the little studs on it as well. So um, f let's say, for example, I did wear a pair of black trousers. And then I also got this cardigan. Uh, I recently bought another black cardigan, but um, I struggle finding cardigans. Not necessarily because places don't sell them, but I don't always like the style of them or the material. So when I see them, I tend to pick them up because, you know, a cardigan's a staple, isn't it? So I did buy one not that long ago from Primark and it got um, gold buttons and it, it had pockets as well. Whereas this one is more, I think you call it a waterfall design. And then it's not got any buttons. It's just like, I say, the waterfall that just falls nicely. So it's, I'm not sure what you call that. Is it hem to hem? I don't know. Anyway, so went for the excess again in this, which is a six to eight. Let's just try it on and show you. So that's the cardigan on. Um, it's, a, it's a very, quite a heavy material. It's not overly heavy, but it, it pulls, so it falls nicely. Uh, the sleeves are quite long, so I've had to roll those back, but I am only five foot three. So um, if you're of normal height, I'm sure it'll be fine. It does seem quite roomy. Um, I do prefer them a little bit more fitted, uh, maybe a bit more sort of like that. So I may well take it back and get a smaller size because it does quill feel quite big, but it's, it's nice and long. It goes, it's about three quarter length. So covers the old bot bot if that's what you want to do. And uh, yeah, that feels really nice. And this came in at nine pounds. So I've uh, bought myself another pair of jeans, like I need any jeans, but I've actually bought jeans this time instead of jeggings. So I wasn't actually sure uh, what size to get. I'm normally an eight in uh, Primark jeggings, so I've risked it and gone for an eight in these. These are a high waist skinny, um, and they're quite a dark blue denim. I really like the colour of them. They look more navy I think on the screen but they are more not royal blue but you know that quite a bright blue they're lovely and then they've got a few sort of uh, scrapey bits frayed bits and then the the cuffs at the bottom or the the trousers at the bottom they're frayed as well they've just cut the edge bits off there in fact I probably would have preferred a bit of a hem I might even roll that up because that is pretty naff I might do a little, uh, depending on how long they are, I might do a little turn up, we'll see. Anyway, let's get them on and see, fingers crossed, if they fit. So, I'm in luck, they fit absolutely perfectly, like a glove. I've got um, lipo in them, so they are, um... <laughs> but yeah, I really like those. Usually, my issue is, my thighs are a bit bigger, and then the waist, uh, so trousers are usually tight there and then baggy around the waist, but I think these have got a little bit of elastic in, so they're not actually gaping like they normally do, but I could put a belt on if I need to. So that's them up close. Really, really like those. Uh, these were only 13 pounds. So maybe in the summer, I might roll them up to make them slightly cropped. Um, yeah, because I'm not that keen on that, the bottom of those, but, what I'm going to wear them for this weekend, I'm going to wear long boots with them anyway, so that won't matter, but absolutely chuffed to bits with those. Then the next thing I bought is this see-through little number. Look at this. So this is a black top. Um, it's not crop, but it's quite short. And it's got loads of little sort of silvery bits on it. Now, as you know, I love a high neck. So what I thought I could put under this, normally I'd just wear a vest, but I thought, no, let's try and uh, jazz it up a smidge. I'm going to a party, so I need to look half decent. So I bought a little bralette to try with it. So I've got this in a size XS, six to eight, no doubt it'll go in the sale soon, uh, eight pounds. And then what I've bought to go under it is this little bralette. Never worn one of these before, so, uh, 
bit of a, it's not a risk, but I don't know, let's see what it looks like. So this set, I went for, they don't come in um, bra sizes, they are only small, medium, large, blah, blah, blah. So I had a look at them and my worry was, the problem is because it came with a pair of briefs, you can't return it. So I had to sort of guess, would this fit? When I looked at the uh, the band part, I thought that might be a bit wide. So I've taken a risk, gone for an excess, which is six, six to eight. Um, Cause I do like to, I do like to size up in the old briefs to make them a bit more comfortable. That's what you get when you're getting older. And that set was five pounds. So I'm gonna pop this on and then the other top that I've just shown you to see what it looks like. Won't be, I won't be modeling these though, sorry. Not for you anyway. And then I also bought this, I suppose sort of as a second option in case that bralette didn't fit. Um, it's in the sports bra section. I really like this. It was actually, it was upstairs in the underwear section, but under the sports stuff. So not with all the normal sports kit. So this is just a black vest and it's got um, a fastener at the back as well as this sort of you call that string vest type material and it's got um pads in it but I'm, i may take those out so i don't know whether i'm going to use this under that top or whether i'll use this just for well i don't think i'll be wearing it to the gym it's a little bit uh, too sexy but i might use it at home when i'm running on the treadmill and i don't see anyone that's why it's nice to have such a nice one i wouldn't normally probably come on here in my underwear but because this is a bit more than just a bra uh, I mean you know you go on the beach in bikini so I thought I'd show you what it looks like fits absolutely perfect I'm really really chuffed with that and it actually it's not got any support in it but it feels okay um, but yeah it feels okay I haven't got the biggest of boobs but they feel quite nice in that I really like it uh, it's really comfortable as well, much more comfortable than a bra. Right, let's get the top on and see what that looks like over it. So there we go, that's it with the uh, the top on and the little bralette underneath. Um, I won't be wearing these trousers, I've got a pair of um, faux leather trousers that I got from Primark last year with some zips on which are really nice, so I'm going to use the, uh, wear those to go with it. But I really like that. It doesn't really feel overly comfortable. It feels a bit strange because of these little bits. And the inside... No, oh no, you can't see them. Um, hopefully it's not too revealing for a lady of 44. But yeah, I really like that. And I'm going to wear these trousers. I bought these from Primark last year. Uh, faux leather. Um... They have got leather trousers back in this year, but um, they've got, a lot of them are a lot, a lot more high-waisted with belts and stuff. So I think I may even tuck it in, actually. We'll see how I feel on the night, but I'm really chuffed with that. What a bargain outfit. So that's it tucked in. I'm not sure whether I'm going to wear it tucked in or hanging out yet. What do you think? I'm not sure what looks the best. Um, yeah, not too sure if... Uh, when you're sitting there, you might get bits hanging over the top. It's alright if you stood up. It's quite a funky little outfit, isn't it? All care of Primark. And then I'm going to pair the outfit with these new boots that I've bought. These, again, are Primark specials. Um, I quite like these because they're not too high. They're sort of that nice in-between, aren't they? Not too low, not too high. And the heel isn't too chunky. I'm not so keen on some of these block heels um, with the great big chunky heels but I like that and I love this detail here so these were um, the only pair they had left and they were in the wide fit section which doesn't really bother me um, my feet on the top are quite narrow but at the bottom where the old bunion thing is they're a bit wider so I'm absolutely fine with going with the wide fit plus I'm sort of in between sizes of four and five and these I do find in boots, especially when they're round toed, I can get away with a four, especially if they're wide fit. So I'll pop these on with the rest of the outfit and uh, you can see what you think of these. And these came in at 14 pounds. So that's the whole thing with the boots on. Uh, it's quite difficult to get a picture of my whole body without making it look a bit odd. 
but I really like these, they're lovely and they give me a bit of a height. You can't really see them very well because of the black carpet, but um, there you go, if I move them back there you can see them a bit better. Yeah, I really like these, they're actually quite comfortable as high heel boots go. I think they're really nice. Really chuffed with this outfit. So this is the sports top as well, um, it's quite, it comes quite low down, I really like it, it's ever so comfortable, it's got the, uh, the tag still on it, but as you can see it's sort of got a bit that does up there, um, and then it's got the bits in there, not too jobbly jobbly wobbly actually as we go if, uh, if we're running down the road, no that's okay considering it's supposed to be a sports bra, that's fine. Do you know what? Sometimes I actually wear stuff like this instead of a normal bra, just at the weekends or at home. Um, they're not very support, that's the word I'm looking for, but they're very comfortable. So, blimey, absolute winner on all of that today. So, I hope you've enjoyed that. A uh, bit of a mix match of different um, items. Um, really, really chuffed with all of that lot. I think I've got an outfit for... Less, I think it was less than 50 quid. Absolutely brilliant. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. Hit subscribe if you're not already one of my subscribers. Um, I try to do two to three videos a week, usually including one sort of haul, um, do beauty reviews, uh, a couple of vlogs I've started doing, that sort of thing. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.